All right, coming out was, it, it started a bit easy because I was not in South Africa, so I was not surrounded by people that I know. But eventually I did go to my mom and at first she was, yes, yeah, she loves me. And then afterwards was the whole Bible thing and throwing verses because she knows, well, we're a Christian family. And then telling that, never tell your dad. And then I was still in Taiwan, haven't been home for two years. I get a phone call, we've told your dad. And I said, what did you tell your dad? No, I told your dad you're gay. So for about two weeks, my dad didn't speak to me. And then uh, two days before I was supposed to get on the airplane, my dad just phoned and said, like, cannot wait for you to come back. And ever since it's been, he just still doesn't understand, just like he doesn't understand my politics. But my dad and I were the same person and we learned to accommodate. So it's, it's, it's still, he's still not almost there, but he accepts it and I think that is the biggest thing that any person can have or want is just to be accepted and then you can go over and cross the try to cross the bridges that you need to cross.